everyone and welcome back to my educational series of videos. This is me, Mona Abu Fayyad, and this is our second session of explaining Photoshop. So, in the previous video, we've explained the workspace, tools, interface of Photoshop. And if you haven't watched my previous video, please go back and watch it because it will be so useful for today's session. So, in today's session, I'll be explaining how to create an architectural poster from scratch. We'll be adding a background, some plans, sections, elevations, renders, and maybe some diagrams and concept text. You'll see. But for now, let me do some screen recording for you and let's get started. Let's just open Photoshop. As I told you before, I have Photoshop 2021. Let's open it. All right, let's create new. Let's make a poster of 100 by 200 millimeters and 150 should be enough for uh, the resolution and we shouldn't worry about anything else. Create. Okay, so this is our workspace. And for this uh, session, I have saved a few pictures, renders, uh, diagrams, some drawings for this um, session. Uh, I decided to work on an existing project by uh, Luc Orbizet. Um, it is the um, Maison Cetrohan house. Let me show you. All right, so I have prepared some text here. And I have saved this image, a diagram, and the plans. This should be enough to explain this session. Okay, so for the first thing, I think I'm going to start with the um, render. All right, let's just import it. You can simply drag it or you can open with Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a render. This is not a real picture. That should be okay. I'll just drag it to our workspace. Oh, wow. It's way bigger than... Uh, than our poster, so I will uh, press Control T and then just uh, without holding anything on my keyboard, I'll just uh, resize it. And just resize it to get to get the size that I like. I think this is enough. Just move it to the middle. Okay. So I started with this uh, render image because I wanted to make uh, an extended sky for this view and I want to put my drawings above the sky. So for that, you can simply select and uh, stretch the sky, but in our case, I don't think it will work because uh, we have a lot of clouds and it will look stretched. If it was a solid color, it would work. If you just select and stretch with the control T, but because we have many skies, look, it doesn't have the same color. All right, let's do something else. Okay, for that, I think the best way is to use the clone stamp and to go to the same layer and resize your clone. You have to take your time on this step. And just take a drop with your alt, as I told you in the last session. Take a drop. And just... And just take a drop again from here. So we're basically just replicating what we have at the bottom. Be careful. We don't want to replicate the building, we're just replicating the sky. Take your time on this step because it will really change the way you look at the project.
Okay, now we can just increase the size of the brush, the glue stand. And then after that, I think I will stop the sky here and I will start making it fading till it becomes white. So for that, I have, choose, I have chosen the brush tool and I will select a proper brush type. Okay. So this brush should be good. Okay, so now I will start. Uh, I will start to, like I will stop the clone stamp here, and I will start uh, working with the brush to blend it, and then to fade it until it becomes white. So I can put the title and stuff uh, at the top. So for that, I will use my brush tool, and something like this type of brush should be good. The soft round pressure opacity and flow, this should be enough. Okay, I will uh, make it a little bit bigger and it shouldn't be hard at all. The hardness keep it zero because we don't want sharp edges. Okay, now let me select the color. You can take a drop from the sky by holding your alt. So you select the brush tool and then you hold your, uh, your alt to take a closer color so we can blend it ah uh, it's better to create a new layer for that see how the colors are blending keep taking uh, closer colors you can put this layer beneath it so it looks uh, like uh, it's coming from the same sky so now, we're just making this sky look like it's fading until it becomes white. Hmm. I keep taking random uh, drops of colors from the poster. Okay, I like it. Okay, it's so nice. All right, so now we have the background. The second thing that you should do is, I think, the title. And that's what we're going to do next. For that, I like to put uh, as a rectangle or something beneath my title to make it pop okay for that i'll go to the shapes i'll select i'll go to the shapes i'll select the rectangle tool and i'll use the gray color mm -hmm. okay i don't like the Outline, let me show you. Yeah, I don't like the outline. So I think I'll just um, make this. Uh, you can change that from here. Here you can uh, control the shapes in your properties. Okay, you can increase the stroke. <laughs> you can remove it, you can increase it. Okay, I'll make it zero. I don't want any outline. Okay, and I'll do the text. Okay, you can write it here and it will, it will, uh, if you write it here, it will be considered as a text box, but I like to keep it separate. I think it's easier to handle. Okay, this is very big. Change it. 
we can change the color from here. Let me just move it. Okay. Now for that, remember I told you I have copied some text. So we're gonna copy this text. It's Maison Citroën. Okay, let me make it aligned to the left. Let's just make it smaller. Let's change this font. What do we have here? I think this is nice. Let's check. All right. Let's just keep this one. It's fine. You can also control T your text to resize it instead of changing the the font size itself. Okay. Then you click this here to finish. Then I'll change this shape because I think it should be um, it should be shorter from the width and longer. Or we can just keep it longer. All right, we can make this one, uh, the shape a little bit lower in opacity. Now, let's just do the, um, put something here, put the drawings. Okay, for that, let me see what I have here. I'll open this on Photoshop. Okay, I have here some plans and a section. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, for that, I'll take first this, uh, the plans, then the section. So on this new tab, I'll take, I'll select the plans. All right. And you can just simply drag them to this workspace. Okay, notice that it's under our um, background. So I'm gonna just drag the layer. So now it's above. Okay, so if you notice, this uh, these plans are JPG and they, are, they have a white background. We don't like this. I want them to look blended with the background. For that, we have these filters here. I don't know what to call them. But these are filters. Just try them. Look, this one should be enough. The darken or the multiply. I like to, this, to use this one. Or the this one. This. Okay, so the best one out of them all was the multiply. It varies from background to another. It plays with the colors. It's something with the colors white plus the background color. Okay, so it worked. So now we have our plans here. So for this step, we've imported the image. We've selected a, a portion from the image and we dragged it to our working space, then we played with the filters, we changed them until we got the desired result. <laughs> All right, okay. So after that, we can, I feel like we need to put something here because it looks so, it looks so empty. So I think we can put the concept and a diagram. That should be enough. Okay, so. This is our concept. Let's just copy it. So this is the concept. We can copy it. We can just create something here, a text. This should be enough. 
and I'll just paste it, Control V. Okay, let me see. Oh, wow. Let me just make this smaller. Okay, so this is the concept. Mm -hmm. Do we like the um, font color? I'm not sure. Uh huh. Okay, let me show you some trick. Okay, let me just make first this one as bold to make it read as a title. And let me just make one size bigger. All right. We can make it with cap caps lock so it will look like a proper title. Okay. Okay, I wanted to show you something. Sometimes when you, when you have a colored background, it's not so light, it's not so dark as we have here. It's really tricky to choose the color of the font. So for that, you can put some outline for your text. You can put some drop shadow. It will be very light. You can control the level of the hardness. All right, let me tell you. For that, if you want to add uh, uh, an outline or a drop shadow, you can just double click on your layer for anything, for these, for this, for any layer. You can double click. Let's double click here. Not on the writing, not on the name of the layer. Here. Anywhere on the layer except here. <laughs> okay. Because that will rename it. Okay. So, and the layer style window will appear. We have many things here. Okay. So, for the text, I think we can um, make a stroke. That's so hard. Let's make it one. One should be enough. This color is so sharp. I don't like it. We can um, we can make the opacity less. We can also change the white. I don't like the white. Let's make it uh, gray so it won't appear very sharp. Change the opacity. See now it's um, it's easier to read. But at the same time, when you see it, you won't notice that we have an outline. It will just make it easier to read. Okay, now uh, you can also go to the drop shadow. Oh, wow, that's so intense. Okay, we can change this. You can change the, the uh, angle of the drop shadow. You can change the size. No. The distance, okay, let's decrease. You, you can just play with, with this until you like the result. Okay, I think I don't want a drop shadow. The stroke should be enough, okay? So this is our text, okay. Sometimes I don't like the text to end like this. So I'll use this uh, option. And it will make it justified. Even if the <laughs> word is cropped, it's fine. It's way better for the organization of the poster. Okay. Now, let's see if we have any diagrams. Okay, we have this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. It's just do the same way and just select it. And with the move tool, I'll drag it to my working space. Wow, it's much bigger than the poster. I like it when it's bigger because that means that the resolution will be 100% better and you won't have any pixels. Okay, for that, I think I'll just resize the text a little bit so I can align this he this image here. It's already bigger than the typist, so this should be enough. Okay, I wanted to align it with the title, so now it's aligned. This pink line shows you that it's aligned. Okay, then. I'll use it, I'll put it here, and then I'll resize it. This should be enough. 
Now I'll play with the filters to make it blend. Multiply is a good one. All right. So now we have the title, the concept, the plans, and the diagram. Okay, what else do we have? <coughs> feel that this should be better. Okay, let's go back to the section. We don't need this anymore, so let's close it. Okay. For the section, I'll do the same. Okay, select, and then with the move tool, I'll drag it here. All right. Another way to, uh, to organize your poster, sometimes I like to put my sections and elevation at the bottom of the poster, so it looks like it's, uh, it's on the ground. But if you have a big shot of render, why not to put it at the bottom? Okay, so for this one, let's just make it multiply as well. Okay, where should I put it? Okay, and I'll take my brush tool. Uh, and I make the whole thing. I can cut the uneven parts, delete them, I'll just delete them. Okay, and then you can go to the brush tool again, right click and check if you have um, things that will make your project better. Okay, for that, I like to create a new layer, to be honest. In the posters, you have to keep trying. Like for now, maybe uh, after I did this line, I don't like it long. I'll just crop it. See? And so on. You have to be very careful about these things here. You can keep them. You can add new titles. We can add titles. Let's add titles. Okay, let's add here. Plans. And we can put like... Mm, one to 200, I don't know, or one to 100. I'll show you one way later how to bring the plans and sections or drawings without changing them, without messing up with the scale. Uh, if you're using AutoCAD, you can convert it to PDF and then use the same resolution for both. Like when you, when you bring a PDF, it will ask you, uh, which uh, resolution should, do you want it? You should select or choose the same resolution that you have chosen for your poster. And then when you drag it, when you open with Photoshop uh, and drag it, you don't play with the size of it and it should be good and your scale won't change. So here I duplicated this layer with Ctrl J or with the Alt and drag it. And here I'll write sections or section. Okay. This is our poster. See how clean, see how neat it is. We can also make something. Oh my God. I don't want to mess it up, but I think it's going to be nicer if we move it a little bit here. Okay, maybe here we can uh, move this layer of elements a little bit. And then we can like uh, delete this part of the, we can use the eraser tool to make it less edgy. 
and so on. You just can keep playing with the poster until you like it. To be honest, I didn't like what we did here. And I think here we have to fix this portion. There are like two pixels. Okay, now that's better. All right. You just give it final touches. And this should be an easy poster. So this is the easiest way to do a poster. I think it's very easy and anyone can do it. So just keep practicing. It's very easy. And this is the end of our second session. So this was the end of the second session of explaining Photoshop software. And in the third session, I'll be explaining many new and exciting stuff. And if you have any comments, any questions, please ask me in the comments section below. And I'll be answering these questions at the end of this series. But for now, see you in the next one. Bye.